Now, I knew this was going to happen. It came to no surprise that Sidney McLaughlin and LeBron would slide on the ops and beat them so badly. It's not even surprising to me. But the fact that she ran a 48-75 so early in her track and field 2024 season shows that who is Femke Bull? You know, who is Femke Bull? Why are we worried about Femke Bull? We're not. Sidney McLaughlin just slid on everybody. Like, everybody got stepped on. And this, this just leads to show that she will hold the American record sooner than later. The American record will be broken sooner than later. I give that American record, uh, I give it two more track meets. Y'all put y'all's comments in the below. How many track meets do you think it would take for Sidney McLaughlin LeVron to beat the American record? I'll say two track meets. At most three. That's what I'm giving. But it's crazy though that Sidney really ran that. She's really slotted out there like that. A 48-75. I know some dudes that can't even run. I know some dudes in college right now that can't even run a 48-75. Not even being funny. I'm being so serious. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of guys in college. I ain't say D1, but I'm just saying it's a lot of it's a lot of guys in college that can't run a 48-75. Including me. <laughs> so uh <laughs> But yeah, y'all let me know in the comment section below what you think about this race. Do you think Femke Bowles stands a chance of getting Sidney McLaughlin at the Olympics? You know, uh, and it's still up in the air what event she's going to run. That is true. But if they do end up running the same event, what do you think is going to happen? I want to know in the comment section below what y'all got to say about that. And as always, if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Peace.